what is causing this motion what is causing this motion human rights everybody has equal dignity no one should be a slave of another one freedom of religion freedom of practice in a muslim state when people are not allowed to practice their religions freely today this constitutes injustice can you see that together with the physical motion there's an internal motion وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي آدَمْ We have ennobled the children of Adam. This nobility of human being is always on the move. It is refining itself. It's an existential state that we have whether we believe in God or not. We are now noble people. So we talk about human rights. At one point, I know the mosques used to segregate between their own color and people of different color. I know this. I've lived through these eras. Today, it's unheard of. It's appalling. When we go to some countries and we see this segregation, we are appalled. We say, how can you do this? How can your morality allow you to do this? How can you Islam teach you this? That you segregate people on the basis of color. This was the pagan Arab mentality. When the Prophet sent Bilal to the roof of the Kaaba and he proved that he's superior to all of you, your Arabic language, your lineages and your colors. And he said there is no superiority, superiority by virtue of color or what not. Human nobility is the refinement of humanity. And the emergence of humanity as humanity fulfills its journey from weakness into strength. That it wants to rid itself of bias and distinction. So distinction between genders today are unjust. Why? What has happened? Human nobility has ripened. And that is an existential state. Today, we will talk about animal rights. Do animals have right? Philosophers will skew this question up so much that you will end up saying nobody has any more rights now. I will say, you animals may or may not have rights. Our nobility will bestow rights upon them. Can you see this? Should animals just be killed in Mina and we walk upon them? I have walked on carcasses in Mina. Yeah? Back in the day. With blood up to my ankles. Human nobility will not allow this anymore. Poultry farming. Can we really raise these little birds in the few weeks of their lives and then just eat them in those constriction? No. Human nobility will not allow this. Can we have slaves? The human nobility will never allow this. The next question is, can we have servants? Human nobility within a few years' time will say absolutely not. You cannot have servants. Have artificially intelligent robots serving you. That'll happen. Then human nobility will ask a question. These artificially intelligent robots who have a sense of their own existence, they have rights to. Whether they can claim them or not, we will give them rights. Can you see that? 